Hey guys, I'm Shia back again with another video. In this video, we'll quickly take a look into one important coding challenge question that is Pittsburgh's. Well, this kind of coding challenge questions uh, we'll get in uh, big organizations uh, like Adobe and Microsoft interviews. Okay, so this problem is pretty simple and uh, yeah, so this problem comes under mathematics and puzzles category. If we ha you have idea about division and modulus operator, then you can you know write a logic for this problem okay great so first we'll understand uh, the problem and then later on we'll write a simple job program for to solve this problem okay here i'm going to just write the solution like this and the problem says consider you have a given positive number n okay and write a Java program that prints numbers from 1 to 100 and here are the three rules first rule is if the number is multiples of 5 then print bits if the number is multiples of 7 then print buds if the number is multiples of both 5 and 7 then print bits buds so these are the three conditions we need to add while printing the numbers from 1 to 100 it's a pretty simple problem okay and the solution is could be very simple guys if you know the modulus operator in java and division then it's pretty simple for you to write a you know, logic to this problem well we have modulus operator in java right in order to divide a number in java we use a modulus operator for instance we have let's say we have number 10 modulus 5 and what will be the remainder remainder is 0 right so the number 10 is multiple of 5 because reminder is 0 as soon as we get a reminder 0 it means the number is multiple of 5 let's say one more example l1 modulus 5 in this case we get a reminder 1 right the reminder we get here 1 it means the l1 number is not a multiple of 5 okay let's say one more example let's say we have a number 14 modulus 7 then we will get a remainder 0 it means that so, you know 14 number is multiple of 7 let's say one more example like we have a number 35 modulus 5 then we will get a remainder 0 because 5 into 7 35 right and again the number 35 modulus 7 for both the condition we will get a reminder 0 it means that 35 number is multiple of both 5 and 7 okay pretty simple guys based on this solution we are going to write a logic right what we're going to do is we're going to simply write the for loop that prints number from 1 to 100 and while printing the number we'll add these conditions we simply use eps condition to you know check this uh, write this logic okay so here i have a java class public java class within this class we have main method and here i am going to simply write a separate method to write this logic let's say public static white print and i am going to pass integer positive integer number as a method argument okay so in a problem statement we have you know range that is 1 to 100 for that we going to use for loop and the range start from 1 so int i equal to 1 and then i less than equal to n and then i plus plus pretty simple for it isn't it great so this power prints a number from 1 to 100 let's say we pass 100 to this print method over here okay so this main method internally called print method print method takes 100 as a method argument and here we, we have written for loop to print the number from 1 to 100 okay so this is the logic for this statement now while writing i mean while, while printing the numbers from 1 to 100 we need to add these conditions okay great so first we will go from bottom to up because if the number is you know multiple of both 5 and 7 we need to print bits buds so here i'm going to write the if condition if the number number is nothing but in this case i okay 
i modulus 5 and if the remainder is 0 and here basically we are going to handle two conditions one is for 5 another is for 7 so look at here here we are using you know logic and operator to just check both conditions should be true if the number is multiple of both 5 and 7 then only this if condition should be executed i modulus 7 if the remainder is 0 then what we are going to do is we will simply print with buds so just copy it and just have a csart over here and just print with buds pretty simple isn't it so here the number is nothing but i let's say i contains 35 so 35 modulus 5 the remainder is 0 i9 35 modulus 7 then the remainder 0 so this condition should be true and then it should print page buds so here you can see this logic i will write the comment over here great and you can see the second is if the number is multiples of 5 then we simply print page all right else if i modulus 5 and if the remainder is 0 then we simply write this is out over here okay and just print pitch okay great and write the else if condition again here just for checking the number is multiple of 7 or not for that i modulus 7 and if the remainder is 0 then we simply print buts bu double check buts pretty simple isn't it if if all of these conditions are false then we simply print the number for that we will use the else statement way and then sys out the number i okay pretty simple program we are just you know iterating uh, using for loop from 1 to 100 and here we are just writing the if else condition to you know handle these rules okay great if the number is multiple of 5 and 7 then we simply print page buds if the number is multiple of 5 we print page if the number is multiple of 7 then we print buds else we print number pretty simple okay so go ahead and simply run this program and let's see the output and there we go so look at here each number printed in a new line so in a program statement you can see print new line after each numbers okay just compare output with the problem statement now if the number that is 5 so 4 pitch 5 so number 5 is replaced with pitch and here you can see for multiples of 5 print pitch so here instead of 5 we have printed pitch and instead of 7 we have printed buds for multiple sub 7 print buds and similarly for 10 10 is multiple of 5 so we have printed bits 14 is multiple of you know 7 so we have printed buds 15 is a multiple of 5 so we have printed bits similarly you can see 30 by you is multiple of both 5 and 7 hence we have printed bits buds isn't it and you look at here so after 69 we have 70 number 70 number is multiple of both 5 and 7 you can see which buds is printed okay great so you may you know get similar question but different role like for multiples of 3 print page for multiples of 5 print buds for multiples of 3 and 5 print page buds like this only we will get number is you know changed otherwise the logic should be same here you need to change the logic instead of 5 you need to keep 3 and instead of 7 you need to keep 5 okay the logic remains same you need to just change the numbers i hope you found this coding challenge you know video useful let me know if you want this kind of videos i can you know 
uh, create and publish for you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in next video.